Hello guys, it is time to move on with uh, our GTK chat button and uh, today we are going to talk about uh, something new, something very special for you uh, and for your new knowledges which is uh, we are going to talk about a new signal function which is called G-Signal Handler Disconnect. What exactly does this function and why do we need something like this? Let me show you something. In the last, um, in our last tutorial, in our last uh, program phase, if I can call it this, uh, I showed you that uh, to can quit this button, you need to check basically uh, this box here. And once that you check, you can quit. Uh, we can uh, you can quit or we can, you can click the button. How about how would you do it if you want to, for example, if you want to let this button clickable? and if the user insert, uh, clicks this button so that it can be informed about it and let it work only and only after you check this box but the button is still visible. What is I'm talking about, let me show you a demonstrating program here for a second. Um, watch. I, I'm going to hit the quit button. As you can see, set please check the button so the button works fine but the program doesn't close now i will going to check the button to quit and now that i'm checking the button i'm going to hit the quit button as you can see the program uh, exits and says goodbye so this is basically what i'm trying to explain you how would you do that well let's see what the function says uh, what's the story with this function uh, let's go up here let's search this function and this function says it is a function which returns void and takes two parameters the first one is uh, an instance the second one is a handle ID and says this connects a handler for an instance so it will not be called doing any future or correctly outgoing emission of the signal it has been connected to so the handle ID becomes invalid and may be reused. The handle ID has to be a valid, sig a valid signal handle ID connected to a signal of instance. Those parameters are instance, which is the instance to remove the signal, and the handle ID, the handle ID of the handler to be disconnected. What's the, the story with this handle ID? Well, let's see. Let's go a little bit up here and search our G signal connect function because we need it. Okay, so uh, we learned about this function. This function, we know that it is a macro which calls G signal connect data, whatever, it's not important. That what is important for us is it, its return. Um, its uh, return. Uh, returns the handle ID of the type GU long, always greater than zero for successful connection. So always zero, okay? So this means everything which is zero, and greater than uh, it is a successful connection. So this means uh, this handle ID will be returned. We, when we created programs until now, we never use this return because we never check it. It is a good thing for you to check the return. But for example, if G signal connect uh, and then you pass it is not equal to zero, something like, let me show you so that you understand. You say if g is not connect is not equal to zero, then do something, or maybe let's say if it's equal to zero, then uh, g print I know lol <laughs> whatever. Okay, so basically this is the way how you can handle a thing like this, so that you understand it, and of course the program works fine and everything. Okay, so. Uh, this is how we used basically this but there is another option for you let's create here uh, I don't know, a variable but what does the manual says it is uh, uh, connect 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 returns a handler which is a type of yes GU long okay so let's create this GU long uh, handler uh, if um, if I can call it like this um, 
let's say um, whatever handle ID just let you handle the handle ID okay so we are creating a GU long handle ID we are not going to to uh, initialize to zero because you already know that uh, variable which is declared global it should always be from a compiler in LZ, so it has a value of zero okay so now we can point uh, it to here let me cut this part here and throw it here okay and now we can still check it like for example if handle ID is this time not equal to zero let's see what happens if we are drawing this part now here it is a little bit crazy but it is a way of the way how you check your program and works fine so basically we are checking this handle ID okay this is not the object of our tutorial but I wanted to show you a way how you can uh, work with this handle ID now we are going to make some changes to our program because uh, we need those changes so that our program work so we are going to start with uh, G uh, with the toggle callback uh, function so basically uh, what we are going to do here we are going to um, instead of uh, the check was checked instead of this we are going to say uh, handler ID and then uh, we, are, we are going to say G signal connect we are going to call now uh, button and then of course the click head and of course GTK main quit and the last one it will be null so else we are going to say uh, G signal this is now the function which we are calling now G signal connect and then we are going to say button it is the first one and handle ID it is the next one okay so that being said uh, we are creating here a new tablet callback function and this tablet function does this the following it uh, the button it's active so this means if you check the button then uh, we are going to call this function with the uh, uh, gtk main quit uh, callback, s callback function uh, and if it's not active then we are going to disconnect the handle id which we created when we are were pointing our g signal connect uh, uh, to to the uh, handle id here so now uh, basically we have uh, two different handles ID uh, because like the manual already said uh, and we are going to talk about this just in a moment uh, where is it, where, is it, where, is it, where is it disconnect says uh, uh, may be reused okay now next thing we are going to make some changes new changes here uh, this means uh, uh, we are going to create a <laughs> let's create a static static uh, GU long temporary variable and then we are going to set if uh, temporary variable is equal to zero and it is because uh, we have said it should be static then we are going to point uh, to a signal to the our handler ID so that being said only if is zero so now we said if um, temp it is equal to handle ID and it should be then uh, G print and here is the power we said please check the box as
g print good bye okay Now let's see what the following function now does. Uh, we created a static uh, static um, variable. We need a static to, so that it stays alive, so that we know that its value is zero once that we call for the first time uh, this function. And then because it's zero, which we are also checking, and we're checking only if it's zero, then we we're going to put the handler uh, value inside this temporary value. Okay, now that we have it and both are the same, we are checking if temp is, uh, if the variable temp is equal to handler d, then this means uh, we need to check the box. But if we are checking the box, then we have a, a different variable um, uh, values, then this means uh, the box was checked and uh, it will bring goodbye. So let's see, let's run the program and see what happens. Okay, yes, I forgot something which is very important. It's a good thing that I forgot that you know. You know, in the last previous tutorial, I had to set the sensitive of the button to false to work. So basically, I, uh, I need to remove this part here because we don't need it anymore. Now let's see, I will click the button, says please check the button, I will check the button and then I hit quit and says goodbye. So basically this is does what does. Now let me show you something, g print, uh, let's say uh, temp, temp, let's print temp and, um, and uh, the handler id variables. And you will understand better. Okay, and the handler. So this time I will just um, comment out this part here because if not, it will be too much information for you. I'll run the program again and watch. Uh, temp. What I forgot here. Ah. I, I need to write in LU and not UL. Okay, now watch. When I hit the quit button, says you see first one was zero and the handler was 62 because was zero uh, it will uh, we put the 62 inside the temp now both are the same now watch when i check the button i will hit the quit now and says the temp is now zero or uh, 62 with uh, the temp variable is zero but the handler did change of course it changed and because it changed to another ID number, uh, it means that uh, the button was checked. And that being said, uh, if the button was checked, then um, we, we printed goodbye. So basically, this is what we did here. We clicked the, that button only and only if it was checked. Once that we clicked the button, we basically changed the handle ID with another ID so that uh, we can um, so that we can uh, uh, catch this signal. So basically this is uh, the thing which I was talking to you. If you, if you don't want to uh, set it sensitive to false and if you want to uh, inform your user about, uh, about this thing uh, like when it, it, it tried to hit quit uh, then, uh, then uh, let me fix it again because uh, I dropped it part here and I change it with this one. So basically, when the user hits the button, says please check the box, so the user knows he needs to check the box, and very after, or only after he checks the box, the quit button works and the program exits like it sure does. So I think uh, we covered everything about. Uh, we need to know uh, about this uh, check uh, button widget, which is a small widget, if I can call it like this. But you saw how many things we could do with this. This means we have those three functions, and then we have those CSS. As you already know, the CSS was a lot of story here, so we 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 could made a lot of changes to this um, uh, little widget 
and then uh, later we we catch it those uh, target and click it signal both of them on that check button and after that uh, because we were learning in all other all all of other uh, previous tutorials about G signal connect and G signal connect swap and we were using them so many times now it's time to move on to a new uh, powerful uh, G signal uh, function which is the signal handle disconnect and this function basically uh, gave us the opportunity to to uh, disable the signal of a widget uh, for for a particular time like here so the, the time means here as long as you don't check the box here the button you cannot have access to this button uh, just think about something like maybe if you create a pencil field and then you want to disable this uh, uh, submit button uh, after the password is matched then it should work uh, the quit the quit button or the submit button like it works here so basically this is another logic behind this story so that being said uh, we covered everything uh, I don't know if there are some uh, other informations which we are needing if they are uh, let me know or let us know uh, through your comments and we can discuss about that until then uh, thank you guys for watching uh, if you like it please subscribe and share with your friends see you guys